Hello and welcome to Bryant's Academy, where we bring learning to life through creativity and actions. Today we are tackling a grade 9 case JR neck project in home science titled Hygiene in the Home. We will walk through every step to help you carry out the project correctly, safely and smartly. Let us get into it. The first step is under research and procedure. So let me take you through this step of research and procedure. Now, step one is research and procedure. Let the learner look for the correct procedures and write them down. And here is a breakdown of those procedures uh, they are supposed to find in their research. Let's start with tools and materials that are supposed to be used in this area. We have loose colored towel or lasso, plastic basins or bucket. We have cold or lukewarm water, bar soap or powder detergent for colored cloth. We have soft brush or sponge that is optional. Then pegs or hanging line. And lastly, clean surface or table. So those are some of the tools and materials that learners are supposed to assemble or to come with uh, when they will be starting this home science project. Let me take you through the step-by-step -step procedures. Remember, those are the tools and materials. Now, let me take you through the step-by-step -step procedures under this uh, part one of the project. The first step, the learner is supposed to sort the towel. And when they are sorting the towel, let them ensure the towel or the lasso is not mixed with white or delicate clothing to avoid color transfer. Secondly, let them fill the basin with water. And when they are doing that, let them use cold or lukewarm water. Let them never use hot water for colored fabrics. Three, let them add soap or detergent. And when they are doing that, let them add an appropriate amount of bar soap or powdered detergent. Then, step four, let them soak the towel, and that is optional. Let the towel soak for about five to ten minutes to loosen dirt. And step five, wash the towel. So here, let them gently rub using their hands or a soft brush. As they are doing that, let them focus on heavily soiled areas like edges. Step 6. Rinse thoroughly. When they are doing this step, let them rinse the towel two to three times with clean water to remove all soap. Then, step 5. Rinse and dry. Here, let them gently squeeze water out and hang on a line under shed, not direct sun to prevent fading. So those are the steps the learner is supposed to follow when they are cleaning the, the colored towel or lasso. Now, let me take you through the cleaning plastic basin or bucket. That is part two of that project. After using the basin or the bucket, they have to clean it. Now, when they are cleaning, there are some tools that are, they are supposed to use and materials. So here, let me take you first through the tools and materials the learner is supposed to assemble also. First, they need the plastic basin or bucket itself. 
then they need water or multipurpose detergent or soap they need soft brush or sponge old cloth for wiping and that's optional so those are the tools and materials the learner will need when they are cleaning the plastic basin or bucket let's take you or let me take you through step by step procedures that they are supposed to follow when cleaning the plastic basin or bucket first they are supposed to empty and rinse the basin remember they have been using it so first step let them empty it and rinse the basin so here they will be removing any dirt or leftover water or residues after that let them add soapy water on that basin or bucket here as they have as they are adding the soapy water let them mix soap with clean water in the basin and thirdly scrub thoroughly use a soft brush or sponge to scrub all surfaces inside outside and bottom and then fourthly let them pay attention to corners here let them focus on handles and inner edges which trap dirt and fifth let them rinse well here rinse with clean water two to three times until all soap is gone and lastly step six here let them dry the basin or bucket air dry the basin or use a clean towel to wipe it dry so those are the steps the learner is supposed to follow when cleaning the plastic basin or bucket step by step after assembling the tools and the materials now in that part of the project there's an area that the learner is supposed to check on the hygiene safety and resource management now let me take you through this area hygiene safety and resource management now we have some materials and uh, tools that the learner is supposed to use now i will take you through some of the tools and materials and they are important now i'll start with use of gloves so gloves are being used to protect hands from detergent irritations we have use of just enough soap here we are avoiding wastage and pollution they're supposed not to pour dirty water anywhere so that they can prevent environmental pollution and also they are supposed to clean tools after use to promote good hygiene after that they are supposed to dry towel in shed here they are preventing color fading and lastly they are supposed to share basin if needed to encourage collaboration and teamwork so those are some of, some of the hygiene safety and resource management the learner is supposed to engage in while carrying out the project itself now someone will ask you to highlight some of the competency based uh, that are being developed here in in this project so here are some of the cbc cbe competencies developed we have self-efficacy when they are doing work independently we have critical thinking when they are solving how to wash effectively we have communication and collaboration explaining the process to others and we have digital literacy using phones camera to document or search for the uh, procedures so those are some of the competencies that the learner will develop when they'll be carrying out this project and that is all about the project if there's an area i have left be uh, aside and will need clarification on it uh, let me know through the comment section so that i can uh, check on it and update you so thank you for watching and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to brian's academy for more cbc cbe aligned content to guide you through school projects and life skills thank you and may god bless you abundantly
for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. I love you very much.